Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alkali Phoenix here and welcome to episode number three of my Ark Survival Evolved The Volcano Let's Play series. So, something really cool happened. I recorded 25 minutes of an episode, so basically a full episode, and my computer blue screen. So you can see all the path I travelled. It was pretty cool. And you can also see I've taken a hit to my health. Uh, this is Aberration Island. Um, so basically, Aberration Dino spawn here. Problem was, is when I flew in here earlier, no enemies were there. But then when I started flying around, my I got randomly shot off my bird. Like, I just got just flung off my bird for no reason. And I nearly died because there's mantises and uh, spiders in here. So that's pretty cool, and scorpions, and all that fun stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what pushed me off my, um, my Palagornis, but I nearly died. So this is meant to spawn a lot of the aberration dinos, but I, you know, the scorpions, the mantises and stuff are not aberration dinos. This guy is. Actually, no, he's not. No, the Dung Beetle's not an Aberration Dino either. So I don't know what's up with um, Aberration Island not seeming to spawn a lot of Aberration Dinos. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Um, doesn't even look like even on the top side there's really any. We got, uh... We got Pteranodons. Yeah, no. Nothing really particularly special about this island, unfortunately. I was really hoping we'd go in there and we'd see some interesting um, aberration dinos, but I guess they just spawn all over the map, and not specifically in this one area. So that's kind of odd to me. I really thought that was the intended spawn purposes of this island, but I guess it's just another island. All right. Well, hopefully, um, I don't crash again, because blue screening on this game sucks ass. Because the game takes, like, 15 minutes to load on my computer. I really need to get my computer upgraded. It needs, like, a new CPU, which, therefore, it needs a new motherboard and new RAM. Um, minimum. That's, like, the minimum upgrades it needs, uh, in my opinion, to function properly. So we're just going to go slow-mo 5. Let's try not to um, be too intense on the old computer. Try to be a bit more gentle. Unfortunately, Ark isn't known for its stability. I'm just going to do Gamma. This is what it should be. I had the Gamma up because it was dark. I'm just going to fly down the beach side here. Try and get back to where our base is. In the meantime, we'll have a look at what's around on this map. My children outside my door, so I apologize if you can hear them making noise. Uh, all right. So you can kind of see some of the biomes, like I flew through a desert area and stuff like that. You know, there was nothing overly special. Uh oh. This is that's what happened earlier, but it happened a couple times and that was cool. And then the last time it did it, it just completely locked up and blue screened my computer. So, I mean, Ark, Ark might end up being one of those one of those games where I'm not going to be able to record it till I get my computer upgraded or something. That might end up being the, uh, the scenario. Hopefully not. But, I mean, if it comes to that, there's not much else I can really do. We just have to hope that it uh, holds up. Here's my base. Oops. Hey, doing Mo One? All right. So we got some comments as well that I wanted to. Mo One, Mo One. Hey. Oh, 
I guess we're doing this now. Come on. Die. Sick. Alright. Yeah, we got some comments to get to from the last couple episodes. I did not get to them last episode, so we're going to have to get to those now. Uh, so, we'll start with episode numero uno. Just got to pull these up properly because my I really need a third monitor for this. I'm starting to consider getting another monitor as well. Uh, Date Green said, you hear about S Plus coming to consoles? Maybe. Um, I did not. Oh, this is a couple things I got from a couple drops along the way. Nothing amazing. It was a Megaloceros saddle, so that's okay. You know, it, it's something. Um, no, I did not hear about that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know, console and that's been needing something like S Plus for a long time, really. So it's good to hear that they're actually working on it. Um... Two said, hey, I like your ARC videos. I remember watching the old Ragnarok series. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Control Alt Llama uh, left a timestamp from the first episode, which was when I was getting smacked by the Diplo. And he said, how it feels when you're out with your mates and they bring their mate who you can't stand. It's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Uh, the Pineapple said, I love this map in your vids. Thank you. Sir Giraffe Neck said, hey, the ARC is back. Watching from North America. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dank Meme said, is that a map? Or is the map a mod? Yes, the map is a mod, which I did reply. Uh, the link is in the description below the video for the uh, link to the volcano map. Uh, come here. Fucking hell. These damn dinos going out to attack shit. Alright. Uh, first name, last name said, how's the family? The family's doing well, thank you for asking. They just, uh, my children just started school, so that's really cool. Uh, Skull asked, uh, what's happening? Which I replied, not much, mate. Back to the video grind. And then he said, that's good, glad you're back. Any plans on streaming? There are plans on streaming, if my computer will hold up long enough to allow me to stream. That is the, uh, biggest issue. Um, Jake Edwards said, nice to see you back, mate, with Ark. Seems to be fitting to have a new map. Can't wait to see the rest of this map in future episodes. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Now, episode two's comments. Uh, two said, name the Argent Tavis Curry. That is a possibility. That is a possibility. Um, Sir Giraffe next said, name the RG Eagle Flies from Red Dead Redemption 2. I do like that name, actually. I think that's what we are going to do. Change name. All right, here we go. So, fun fact, um, for any of you who watch my Red Dead Redemption 2 series or have seen it and seen Eagle Flies, there's actually a Redditor who said he was confused why Eagle Flies didn't look, you know, the way he had imagined. And apparently, Native Americans back in the day used to um, pluck their eyebrows, and eagle flies had huge eyebrows, so it just was a bit of an oddity. Uh, Jake Edwards also commented, Thanks for the episodes, dude. I wonder if the rest of it is unforgiven as we've seen so far. That big cliff reminds me of the one from Amissa with all the wyverns. Yeah, it is actually basically the exact same style, yeah. Definitely need to get away from, need to get away from that Giga and Ravager soon, though. Hopefully before they come off the cliff top. See you in the next one. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about them dropping down. Um, I mean, if we could, if we had tamed one of them, it probably wouldn't be an issue, obviously. Like, especially the Giggers. The Ravagers could be a definite problem. But there's ways around it. What level am I now? I leveled up a bunch in the last episode. I found a, um, a bunch of uh, Explorer Notes. They were in, like, the dark area at, like... Uh, 75 and 45 or so. There's like a little island inlet, like a little cave thing, and they had a bunch of explorer notes in there. And then my uh, game crashed, so that's great. And what do we want? Argent Havis. Argent. 
Argentavis saddle. And then that's made in the smithy, which I don't have. I don't even have a smithy yet, my god. Smithy. Uh, we need metal ingots, which means we need a refining forge, which we don't have unlocked. Refining forge, yes, there we go. Oops. Refining forge. S plus, yep, there we go. Let's make one of those doodads. Uh, and then... Try to have it not clip through. Uh, we need some wood. Let's get some wood out of here and grab the metal out. Bang, bang, light fire. All right, we'll get that cooking up so we can get a smithy going, so we can get our Argentavis going. And then we'll go and get some metal from places. I have spotted a couple areas with metal that we can, uh, that we can go to. What else have we got unlocked to us now? Hmm... We could make kite and armor. Might not be the worst, although I'm tempted to just wait and save for flak. And just get full flak gear. That might be the go. How slow is this going? Pretty slow, so let's just do this. Just to speed up the old metal making process so we're not sitting here for 500 hours waiting for this to uh, finish up seeing as it's a single player experience all right smithy let's get that going Go. Uh, we should be able to make a metal pick. Yeah, we got the materials for that. Very good. The hatchet, I'm not so worried about. The metal pick is the most important. That can just fuck off. All right, let's get this metal pick. All right, so we get this Argentavis saddle as well. No, it's Procop Procoptodon. Oh, maybe Argentavis isn't. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We needed the smithy regardless, even if I even if I could have just crafted it already. That doesn't matter too much. All right, let's go. Sorry if you can hear my kids screaming. I apologize. They're just playing around, having a fun time. Argentavis saddle, boom! Eagle flies. Now let's bump your weight, boy. Weight on your health. I've got to level myself. There we go. What did I even level? Stamina. I just clicked. I didn't even really concentrate on what I was pushing. Alright, metal nodes, metal nodes. I'm trying to remember whether there was some super close to me or not. I think there's some up on this rise somewhere. At least I thought there was. We've also got to worry about raptor attacks and stuff like that. Thresinosaurus. That's a real possibility that we could get romped by one of them. I mean, I don't want to be flying too far to go and get metal. I mean... We might end up having to go up here. Just make sure we don't go uh, too close to the cliff edge. I'm struggling to even see any metal nodes at all. Ah, uh, there's big snakes that spawn. Just by themselves, I guess. So no one. Um, there's big quets up here. That's cool. So this is one of the obelisks. We're right near the red obelisk. Take a look around for a minute. See the big circular area over there? That's where I found the Explorer notes. I definitely know there's metal inside of there. Like, guaranteed there's metal spawns inside of there. But 
I really don't want to be traveling all the way over there just for metal. I feel like that's a bit insane. Are these the old Argentavises, I thought? Oh, no, it's, it's Griffins that can do the dive bomb, isn't it? What about slow-mo too? Because this is very, very, very slow. Mm, not seeing any metal. I mean, the thing is, we can do it the hard way and just get normal rocks. They will give us some metal, but they're just going to give us such a low amount. But it kind of looks like the only place we're going to be able to get metal from is the place I'm thinking of. I mean, it might even be worth moving over there. If it's going to be this hard to find metal, if we're going to move, we're probably going to move early. It might be the way to go. Well, let's, let's go over there and I'll show it off to you guys and girls. We'll go have a look at it at least. Because it is a pretty nice spot. Um, I just didn't want to have be having to move already, but I think we might have to. We can get black pearls and silica pearls that spawn there as well. What the fuck is this thing? I didn't see this on my first pass. No. Okay. Um. All right. Not up for going into a maze just right now. I mean, we saw some of the things this guy designed on Amissa, so we know he can make some pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's not get in too deep. We'll get lost. For sure, we'll get lost. Although, I do want to take a screenshot of this, because I think it's pretty cool looking. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's avoid that for now. But, we know it's here, so that's no problem. Can you stop, game? Please? I'm thinking of, like, bumping down... Um... The textures and stuff, but I really don't want to. Let's just reduce the world buffer. Alright, slow-mo three, let's keep flying. We're not at the uh, location yet. It's actually over here. I mean, there's actually a lot of these vines that Ravagers can use, I believe. Ravagers can use these vines. From memory with um, Aberration. So that could be pretty cool to, to rope vine around on. What is this? This is a nest. But for what? What is that nest for? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so the place I'm actually talking about is right here. I feel like on top of this area is a pretty chill spot. It seems like the dinos that spawn here are are fine. Like they're just they're just parasols. Man, I don't know how this computer's gonna handle Ark anymore, to be honest. We might end up having to play other games and give Ark a miss for a while, as much as I don't want to. Um 
Yeah, I feel like this spot could be pretty good. Um, not a ton going on. There's only uh, there's a few raptors around. That's fine. For the most part. Yeah. I think here could be a pretty good spot. I'm just going to bring you with me over to the trees because you can... I can jump on you if shit starts attacking me. And plus, you know, can hold a bunch of wood. Fuck. Alright. We need to do that. And we need to at least hit this one time. Okay. Here we go. Alright, let's come over here. Let's do that. Jumping on you. Um, let's start crafting some wood foundations and stuff. Like I said, I feel like it's better to move early. We move early, then um, we won't have to do it again later. I'll store the foundations on this guy. There we go. So I'm just sitting on him, so if we get attacked while we're in the inventory, we don't end up dying. What am I going to be short on? Fatch. Fuck. Well, that was easy to fix. Alright, so that's eight, nine, and then we'll just start on walls, I guess. What we'll do is we'll start placing these guys. Um, kind of do a water, waterish view. We'll do here. Here, here. here. Right. That, then we'll do that, that, that. Alright, there's a decent size area. Can we make more? No, we can't. Just make another one. So we can have our little bit sticking out. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's go around and just get a bunch more wood. Wall. S plus wall. Whoops. Do that. Alrighty. Okay. That, that, that. Okay. So far, so good. I know this is taking, like, you know, you'd rather see taming and stuff, but, I mean, this is, I guess, one of those things that has to happen in arc. Progression-wise, we have to... get, um... a bunch of stuff made. Let's see, can we get window... We'll just make two windows in this one. Let's 
Alright. Eight, eight. You know what? I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick this up. And then I'm gonna pick this one up. Because I want to do the windows here. Nine. Do that. Wall, 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 wall. Wall, wall. Then we need doorway. That's a double. I just want a single. Single one of those. S plus door. Do that. Are you kidding? What is up with this? Okay. Then that. Then this. Alrighty. Good stuff, good stuff. Now we need uh, like eight ceilings or something. Ceiling. It's not going to be enough, I can tell you that much right now, off the bat. My daughter is screaming in the background, I apologise, I can hear her. She is in a bad mood. Right, that should be enough, I think. What is with the wide lens flare? It's like it's got this, all this blue tint to it. do that um, pillar I don't know whether that will be big enough mm, it's gonna look dumb unless I did it like that okay we won't we won't do that bit Unfortunately, we're also probably going to lose out on like the 5,000 wood that I've collected. Because I don't know how much my dude can carry, but I don't think he's going to be able to carry 5,000 wood. At a time. That would be insane. It's for damn sure not going to happen. Get his health up some too. And then we need uh, the old Ramparino. S plus ramp. And what you do is you place the ramp, you switch the ramp to stairs, and there you go. Right, I have to figure that out. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't think I want to keep it because it looks kind of shoddy, but I wish we had really thin pillars so I could just go like between here and there. I think that could look kind of cool. Unless we did it... How much wood do I have? Probably don't have enough for this. I think I'm going to run out of something. One, two. Alright, then we need pillar. What am I missing on this? It's three walls high. That's only two walls high. We don't need a three wall high one. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Can only get two out of it. So what I'm thinking... Oops. Is we do it up here. And then we go... Um, I really want it to place on the edge of that. might work. Mm. 
mean, it's not exactly right. But it kind of is at the same time. Like, it, it'll work. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but this could definitely work. Nine. You know what? That, that I think, can work. Yeah. That... I think that can work very well. It's kind of a cool little, um, little design there. I want to actually bring up my ground clutter density. So it looks a bit more, there we go. Now it looks, you know, like there's some actual foliage growing on the ground. What happens if I put it all the way up? Whoa. Yeah, that's that's kind of neat looking, I guess. I, I, I dig it, I dig it. I mean, it's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know how we're going to go with recording ARC in the future. I'm hoping the computer can get some new parts very soon. Um... But for now, it may be uh, an episode every couple days, just just simply because I don't want to kill the computer by recording ARC, but we'll have to see how we go. So anyway, guys and girls, if you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more ARC Survival Evolved in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Ring that bell, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.